Hi, this is Ralph with Christ Lives in You. What was I just doing? I was meditating. And today I'm going to answer the question, why is meditation so important? Before I answer that question, I want you to think to yourself, why is meditation important? I mean, maybe you're just starting to get interested in meditation. You're doing some exploration. You're trying to find out more about it. I can't tell you that I myself was looking for meditation when I came across meditation. Like, I didn't know what I was looking for. I just knew I was looking for something. And when I think about why is meditation important, I think that answer is going to be different for each person. And that's an answer that you're going to have to discover on your own. I can tell you a little bit about my experience, but fundamentally, it has to be your experience. So it's worth asking yourself these questions, and it's worth introspecting and looking within. Like, why is meditation important? If you don't think it's important, and this applies to everything, if you don't think something is important, you're not going to ascribe any value to it. And so that thing becomes worthless, right? Because you don't value it. In the same way, if I feel like meditation is valuable, then I'm going to engage in meditation. But I'm also going to value the experience and the benefits that I receive from it. And so in this way, I think a lot about meditation. It's dynamic and it's a relationship, right? Like meditation is a relationship when you're sitting down and you value what you're receiving then you're in this connection with something higher and something greater right something higher and greater many people call God right I'm just taking a moment, right, to center myself. This is what I think about meditation and why it's so important. The world is moving entirely too fast. And you probably feel this each and every day that you live. And so one of the things that people say all the time is like, you just need to slow down, right? You need to relax. Well, how do we do that? How do you do that? One of the ways is just to breathe. So I'm breathing, right? Taking a moment. I just center myself with a calming breath. Now, if you don't have a meditation practice as a foundation for what I just did, that, that breath that you take may not do a whole lot for you. Right? That breath that I just took is engaging with 20 years of meditation practice. So when I take a breath, I take a single breath, it brings me back into that space of meditation almost inst instantaneously. And as you develop your own relationship with the practice of meditation, as you go through that, like that will happen I do believe that will happen for you as well. And you will experience deeper and deeper experiences of like calm, relaxation, um, uh, slowing down, deeper insights into your own life, into your relationships with others. You might experience surges of creativity. All these things can be valid reasons for engaging in a practice of meditation. And when I ask myself, why is meditation important? For me, it's because I was seeking. See, you might have a feeling 
that there's something more to the world, right? Something more than just this physical world around us. I oftentimes think about, um, I love Brooke Frazier, and she has a great song called the C.S. Lewis song, and it's based on some of the writings of C.S. Lewis. And she says in that verse, if I find in myself desires, nothing in this world can satisfy. I can only conclude that I was not made for here. And so if you're, if you're living in this world and you're experiencing a feeling, right? Similar to the Matrix, if you've watched the Matrix movie, right? Neo sits there and he's like, he's got this feeling that there's something else, there's something beyond, he feels the Matrix. The reason why we connect with that movie so much is because that there's a stream of truth behind it. So why is meditation important? For me, it's because I was seeking something. I knew that there was something else out there. I knew that there was something more beyond just this regular world. And what I'm going to tell you is that you can read about it in scriptures. You can read about it in the words of, of the saints and the holy men of various traditions. You can hear it in the poems. You can hear it in the writings. It's there. And it's like hidden behind the words, beneath the surface. Why? Because the words themselves could never give me the experience that I had in meditation. See, reading about someone's experience and then having your own experience are like two different things. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Those words are so powerful, and yet even those words do not contain the experience of which they speak. But if you hear those words and you hear the promise behind them, then you begin to understand the reason why meditation is so important. See, meditation is just moving myself into alignment, into a space of receptivity for me to receive the grace that comes from God, that comes from the source that comes from the higher power. What I'm gonna tell you is that however you're relating to God in this moment, that's not for me to judge, and that's not for me to determine that it's right or that it's wrong. You have your own relationship with God. You have your own relationship with God, and I have mine. And the truth about that for me is that my experience will never be like yours. You're going to have your own experiences in this life, and you're going to have your own understanding of those experiences. And those things are shaped by who you are, the relationships you've had, the experiences you've had up until this point in your life. You and I are similar, but we're also very different. We've had different experiences, and we have to honor that. We have to honor that my experience is not going to be the same as everyone else's. And that's, that's a fundamental truth that I believe to the very depth of my heart. And I share it with you with all sincerity. That we have to, as all religions, right? We have to, within all religions... Stop trying to convince other people that our beliefs and our experiences are the correct way or the right way to think about something. There's so much diversity in the world. There's so much incredible diversity in the world that it's a shame when people say to themselves, my way is the right way. This is the way that I interpret this scripture, or this is the way that I interpret this 
experience, and it's the only way to understand it. Because it excludes your personal experience, and that's really like the heart of my message when I share this with you, is that meditation is about your personal experience. It's not about my experience. The reason why meditation is important is for you to discover through the practice of meditation. And when you do that, you're going to come into this experience, right? And it can be subtle, right? Maybe, maybe for the first like couple days you meditate and then you don't meditate for a few weeks or a few months or a few years. And then you think to yourself, man, I really felt great when I was meditating, right? Or I had so much creativity when I meditated, right? You have this off and on kind of relationship. I mean, that's, <laughs> I'm projecting. See, that's a projection, right? You may have a totally amazing experience where just for you, it's just, man, every day I can meditate and it's no problem. My experience was not like that, okay? Meditation was very difficult for me to maintain a consistent and steady practice. And there were a lot of reasons that contributed to that. But what I experienced over time was that the times in my life when I meditated, things went smoother. Things were easier. I didn't get up as upset about things when they didn't go my way. And when I didn't meditate, things were a lot more difficult and challenging to deal with. And so that, even that experience in and of itself is a beautiful thing. See, I don't want you to beat yourself up if you start meditating and then you don't meditate for a period of time and then you come back to it and then you don't meditate and then you come back to it. It's totally okay. It's totally okay because in that experience, see, this is what I want you to understand. Within that experience is the experience of meditation and not meditation. What is your life like when you meditate? What is your life like when you don't meditate? That experience and being able to compare and to understand and contrast, right? Compare and contrast those two experiences leads to wisdom. It really does. Because when you begin to understand the benefits of that meditation, you begin to feel like, man, when I don't do this, I'm really crabby. And the people around me notice it and they don't like me as much, right? You start to have those experiences and you're going to start to understand why meditation is so important. The most important thing is for you to start, to start meditating. When? Like right now. Right now is a great time to meditate. And you and I can meditate together and, and I would invite you to meditate with me in this moment so that you yourself can begin to, 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 to understand why is meditation so important. It's going to be an experience that you yourself have. It's going to be something that's unique for you. And it's going to be about your life, not about mine. It's going to be about your belief, not about mine. It's going to be about your experience, not about mine. I can help to guide you. I can provide you with details of my own experience. But that doesn't mean that that's the only way. It doesn't mean that it's the only path. And it doesn't mean that you're not going to have amazing experiences that I have something to learn from as well when you share them with me. And that's what my Facebook group is all about, right? It's really about creating an environment where you and I can talk and share and respect each other. No matter what no matter what is what our religious backgrounds are, right? You have a unique inner wisdom to share with others. I have a unique inner wisdom 
to share with others. And when we do this together in a community, in a community of respect, you and I can go great places and your experiences and your understanding can help build on mine and can help us to both become more elevated at, with understanding about living in love. Because ultimately for me, that's the core of all of it, right? And I said it before, God is love, and whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in Him. So I invite you to close your eyes, or to keep them open. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're going to meditate together just right now, just gently bringing your awareness into the breath. It doesn't matter whether your breath is long, shallow, short. Just begin to notice your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Just focusing your awareness and your attention on the breath. So you're just feeling the breath as it moves in. I'm feeling it as it moves out. Oh Lord, I seek to understand and to know you through silence. I want to come to understand the importance of meditation for my own life. I am willing to offer, I am willing to offer my practice. I'm willing to offer my heart. I'm willing to offer my time, to sit in silence, to know you. And I humbly ask, I humbly ask, O oh Lord, that you bestow your grace upon me, that just as I reach for you, that you will reach back and that you will help me to understand and to experience the power of sitting quietly in silence, listening and awaiting your love, your energy. your will to move in my life. I hope in the next few days, you too begin to experience why meditation is so important. And the fundamental way to do that is to start your practice of meditation, just as we did today. It can be as little as one single breath, just breathing in and breathing out. I'm grateful for you joining me today. If you have questions, comments, leave them in the message area below. 
If you'd like to contact me directly, it's ChristLivesInYou.com. You can click on the contact page and reach out. I'm happy to help you, to support you in your practice. We have the Facebook page, we have the Facebook group. Come join us. Come be a part of a community of like-minded people that are looking to experience something deeper, something more meaningful. This is not meditation for stress relief, right? or happiness, or lowering your blood pressure. All of those things are side benefits that you might still get, okay? So if you're stressed out, you might experience less stress from meditation. But the fundamental purpose and the alignment of why we're meditating is not for that purpose, okay? It's really about deepening your connection with a higher power. Thanks for joining me today. If you like uh, what you're hearing, subscribe to the channel. Uh, be a part of this community. Like I said, check us out on the website, ChristLivesInYou.com. Check out the Facebook page, the Facebook group, and start to participate in your own practice of meditation today. Start today.